Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 2. That's all? You! Take this! Ha! Damn you! Ugh. Too slow! Prepare yourself! Be gone! How's this? Take this! Gotcha! Yeah! yeah. Yeah! Yeah! There! Be gone! Uh. Yeah. Uh. That's all? My sister, all four of the CPUs, we don't have a chance! Game industry faces a dire crisis. Shops are boarded up, creators are overworked and starving, and death looms over all game industry men. But the CPUs refuse to let this be game over for their world. Game industry had severed its ties to the chaotic, lawless realm long ago. And yet, ever since the advent of ASIC, the R4 Syndicate of International Crime Morality has all but vanished. As much as 80% of all students are rumored to worship a being known as R4. Parents, despite knowing it to be a poor deity to worship, have gone ahead and allowed their children to do so. Even the governing bodies of the world have turned a blind eye to it, rather than crush the crisis in its infancy. Well, basically, game industry was pretty messed up, you guys. <clears throat> Thus, did game industry fall into complete and utter disarray. Those who tire of living in this corrupt world are sent to wander the game industry graveyard forever lost. Kind of like what IF and Kaba are experiencing right now. Welcome to the game industry graveyard. As its name implies, the game industry graveyard is where those whose time has passed go to rest for eternity. All things you see here were once inhabitants of game industry proper. Uh, oh, really? You know, this is why I said it'd be okay if you stayed behind. Uh, no way! I'd never agree to that! I want to help Nepnep -Nep and Gigi and the other CPUs as well! And so do I. Hard to believe they've been missing for three whole years now. It's so stupid of them to make me worry like this. All will be made right soon. I am certain they are alive. Even if they are seriously injured, as long as you possess the Sherisite I had prepared for you. Sherisite, the crystallized power of the people's faith. If that's true, then you're right. Okay, 
Let's hurry up and find our ladies, Kampa. We'll carry them all home if we have to. Okie dokie. Jeez, this search is taking forever. Uh-huh. Where do you think everyone could be? Uh, uh... Yikes! Hey, come on! What's with the sudden shouting? Uh, uh, a voice! I heard a moaning voice! You did? Where? What direction did it come from? I think it was that way. Nice. Let's get moving. Um, wait a minute. Please don't leave me here alone. There, it's now. <laughs> Ify? Kampa? Chi-Chi is here too. And look, the other CPUs. Restrain them like this. Now, snap out of it, would ya? It's no good. She's still out cold. Man, what's up with these stupid tentacle things? Do not attempt to force them free by hand. Kampa, please utilize the Sherisite. Right. It's somewhere here in my handy dandy nurse's pouch. I won't allow it! Ah! Who are you? You better not get in our way! <laughs> For someone to be insane enough to travel here? Inconceivable! Three long years. I've remained idle for too damn long. It's finally time to destroy! I don't get his problem, but we've got a fight on our hands. I'll handle him. So go save the CPUs, Kampa. Y you betcha! Please, please wake up! CPU's up, too. <laughs> weak! So pathetically weak! Come on! Make the fight more interesting for me! Come on! Hi, yes? Here? <laughs> well, now I feel stupid that you get to see me in such a sorry state. Be careful. This creep is freakishly strong. Let me help out, too. We have to buy some time so everyone can wake up and regain their strength. I... I'll fight too! Alright, show you puzzle number one. The XD drive is used to release a character's special move. It is kick-ass, as you will know from our last play. When using a special attack, the XD gauge, gauge will be depleted. When the XD gauge has at least one bar filled, access the XD drive menu with the X button because I'm using my Xbox well. You may not know many XD drive skills at first, but in the near future you'll be able to learn many fascinating moves. Now go go kick the crap out of them. Uh, I should probably do an intro here before we get into the rough and tumble of the combat. This is Hyperdimension Neptune Rebirth 2 Sister Generation. As far as I'm concerned, Netgear's adventures and well game industry. The narrator doesn't even take it seriously, so why the hell should I? But anyway, here's yet another playthrough when I said I was going to focus on something else. I'm good for doing some ways. And bef I will point out, before I see arguments in my comments, Akatsuki called Jibs on all the CPU... Uh, the word? Main processing unit. I.e. Noir, Netgear... Sorry, Noir, Neptune... Vart and Block. Not the candidates! So Nebgar's mine, bitches. <laughs> Pretty much it's us with the rest of the characters, but... Yep, it's day one, you can pick your women because it's gonna stay that way for the rest of their playthrough. Now, 
on to the combat show. I'm going at full force! Alright. Uh, Dixie, get the hell up. Ooh, that's worse. Celestial Severance. Go! All the strength you possess? We're not affecting him at all. Kampa, aren't Nep and the others coming too yet? Um, I don't think they're gonna be waking up anytime soon. Perhaps the Sherisite was not pure enough to awaken the CPUs proper. Only... You serious? Then... There's nothing else we can do here. Again. I'm going to lose again. No, 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 no! This was just a waste of my time! I'll finish you all off, right now! No! I... I'm completely powerless! Wait, if I use what's left of the Sherisite's power, please be enough! Come on! What? No! Oh, the light! My eyes! My eyes! My eyes! It worked? Nice thinking, Gear. Was it enough? <sighs> huh? Gigi? This is no time to pass out again! What? What happened? Did she seriously lose consciousness now of all times? Unforgivable! You'll never escape! Once my retinal systems come back online, I'll kill you all! The time has come to withdraw. Nothing more can be done now. You heard her, Kampa. Let's hurry up and get gear out of this place. Y yeah Seems we managed to lose him. <sighs> Gigi is way heavier than she looks. Even after all that, the only one we could help was gear. Not to mention... The Sherisite's power was expended, and it shattered when Gigi had it unleash that light. There's no way we can help the CPUs without that. There is no reason to be so hard on yourselves. Saving Nepgear is a very critical accomplishment. Then what's next, Istoir? Return to Planetune. We shall have Nepgear rest until she has recovered her strength. Besides, I must learn what transpired three years ago. Even if the memories are painful for her to recall. Good morning. You're finally awake! What a relief. You were asleep for so long that we were all getting really worried. How do you feel? Um, I think I'm fine now. But, um, so... I'm really sorry. If anyone should apologize, it should be me. It was my command that sent you five to that battlefield. Huh? No, no! I would never blame you! It all went south because... Because I wasn't strong enough. It may be sudden, but I must ask you to recount what occurred three years ago at the Game Industry Graveyard. Of course. That's insane! All of you lost against a single opponent? That's so hard to believe. How could the CPUs lose? Can I ask a question now? What happened to Game Industry after we lost that battle? You said it's been three years, so... The situation is bleak, I am afraid. ASIC. Under the assumed command of R4, controls much of the world. Disc burning, disc copying, even kids now see piracy as normal and have put their faith in it. In other words, 
Everyone believes in ASIC, so the faith that powers the CPUs has grown very weak. Making just that one small Sherisite crystal took us nearly all three years. Well, with the CPUs absent from their nations, it's no surprise. We failed to save them. And we have come to learn that ASIC's goal is to revive the deity of Sin. At the rate our world is declining, they may achieve that goal. But isn't there anything we can do to stop them? Yes. One way yet exists, and that way is you, Nepgear. Along with the other CPU's younger sisters, your fellow CPU candidates. Wait, me? And I'm not the only CPU candidate? Correct. As you know, only the CPUs themselves and the CPU candidates are able to gather shares. If enough shares are recovered, ASIC and those affiliated with it should weaken. They want me to collect shares in my sister's stead? I want to help Neptune. I want to help the world. But there's no way I can beat such a strong opponent. I don't have a chance. Isn't that approach too slow? ASIC might be able to gather shares faster than we can reclaim them. Good point. And even the people who believed in the CPUs probably know they've lost by now. In that case, we could request assistance from the mascots that reside in each nation. Like game mascots? Born from the ancient goddesses, they oversee the balance and order of our world in a passive manner. That is to say, they preside over the nations to ensure prosperity and remain neutral to all else. But when needed, they will stand by the CPUs and rid the world of evil's influence. I had no idea they even existed. Indeed. Not even I am aware of their precise locations. I have been researching where the mascot for Planetune resides, but to no avail. I will inform you all once I find something of note. In the meantime, please regain Planetune's shares. This will also serve to rehabilitate Nepgear's combat ability. Makes sense. I mean, Gear didn't even move much in the past three years, let alone fight. Hey, you listening, Gear? Huh? Oh, um, yes. Very well. Then allow me to give you this. What is it? This is the end gear. It is a portable device with a multitude of functions. It should prove invaluable to you. The Lily System is where you can partner up characters by having one fight in the front lines while their partner provides support in the reach. The higher the Lily ranks, the better the support they can give. Additionally, more skills and abilities will become available, which you'll find out after you get dressed. The Lily Lark. Their lady rank shows the bond between two characters. The longer the pair fights together, the more the lady rank will rise. And you will get kick ass moves. If you pair up such characters. So, what now? Should we get some work at the guild? The guild, huh? Oh, right, you've never been there yourself, have you, here? We get all sorts of work in order. Work orders from all over game industry though. We take on an assignment, complete it, report the results, and get paid. Pretty simple, right? Although, actually doing it once might give you a better idea of the flow, so let's go. Hello, we'd like to sign up for some fun work, please? Huh? Only one order of work. Only one work order today. Quest overview. To beat the do doggoos that are overpopulating Virtua Forest. Reports of travelers being attacked by packs of doggoos. Terminate them. Well, that was wrong. Virtua Forest is very close to us. And the Mr. Doggoos aren't very tough enemies. Okay, but am I ready for this? You'll be fine. Come on, let's head to Virtua Forest. Test of a series of combo skills to use in battle via the combo setup. Every attack requires a set amount of CP. Transport. Now, 
Let's just find Super City, presented over and all to home by CPU Purple Bus. The city menu seen here lists the favorite lists the facilities and other functions, such as talking with the city's inhabitants. And they've added that If an event is available to be viewed, the event icon will be revealed will be by the relevant facility or inhabitant as shown. You can also visit the museum to access the, access the album and audio functions. At the museum, you can examine previous reviews, see the images of the album, and you can also listen to different background music in the audio collection. Press the select button when the battle in the dungeon to open a quick help screen. Go to that page for from party information. This is Dark's handy dandy tutorial. Thank you for listening. Now then! Eh? Yeah, there we I've got a lot of people to talk to and a lot of work to look. Look at that. Big world, and I can fit for you. Right, this up. Sick. Something like you got. Right. I've got people to talk to and things to kill, so. Not the people first. Boingy. Job. Boingy. Job, job. I'm a kangaroo. Right. You would help, okay. Are you all having fun? You'll pay if you're cheating. You okay? Look for a member to join the Nap Nap Fan Club. Why is anyone joining? Is it me? Is it my fault? No, it cannot be. Find this manual. I'll be giving tips on the best way to say it. Fuck it off in the first time of trouble. Ah! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Look at this thing! I know I got DLC really gay, but dear god! <laughs> I all doing YouTube was shocking the click and leg. Give me a weapon. This version of the game, Gahapard, yeah, was seen in an incredibly popular flash hit anime called Hyper Dimension S Unit. Go buy it and watch it now. Dark has spoken. Any more random crap that I should be with you? Yes. <laughs> Everyone's favorite Death Gear Rover. That's the deck. Uh, yeah, yeah, those are ridiculous stuff, to be honest. I'm not gonna explain it, I'm gonna have to do the event. I think you need to do it. Mr. D-Bag. Yeah! I'm D-Bag here! Love me, bros and bro dads! Play the word. The chairman's like the grub. Those legs? I'm here! Nope, no tender. The Lily system. That's where you pair the girls in the front back row. Pairing the girls will allow you to access the system. Raise the Lily racks by keeping the pair together. Heading out for you. Three years is a long time. Hi, oh yeah. You must have planned to skills, right? Or, I mean, are you still employed there? Of course, although with the way things are, it's more of a part-time job right now. I'm sorry, it's because of me, right? Nope, don't sweat it. Even if I'm out of the office, it won't affect the organization much. There are plenty of other agents. That reminds me, I want to ask, what the guild actually uh, does? Espionage, generally, guild stuff. Acquire confidential information from other nations, spread misinformation to stir up politicians or sometimes. That doesn't sound very nice. Well, I got the wrong idea. We've only had the criminal syndicates like ASIC this lately. Especially these last few years. We've been sneaking into other nations and gathering information over the list. Thanks to those efforts, I found out just a serious trouble facing facing game industry. Ugh, oh, that's funny, that's my fault too. I said not to worry about it. I've only been able to gather intel, not actually any information to see. Watch we're together now, right? So let's save game industry together. Yeah, let's do it. Let's suspend it, let's do our best. Okay. 
You may also do events like that to raise your... Well, friendship level. No will later. The events are just to stop. You're safe now. The others keep using to be tanky. Hang in there, Nat. I can always get the reason to worry about it. I'm just trying to find you all. GD, how are you feeling today? I feel good. I'd like to see your care, Coppa. It was my pleasure. I'm glad that my treatment was effective. Oh, I see. Only Coppa gets thanked? No, no, no. I'm grateful to you, too. I mean, if you never came to save me, who knows what would have happened. But that does make me wonder. Why exactly did you two try to save us in the first place? What do, what do you mean? You work at the guild, under his ward, so I understand. I have, but Crawford's got her life as a nurse to consider. That's an easy question to answer. I just wanted to save you. And I appreciate it, really, but that's not what I'm asking. I mentioned to her in passing that I was going to save everyone, and then she insisted on going with me. She forced you to let her come? Despite her usual demeanor, she's a pretty stubborn woman, and she was particularly hot-headed about this one. Of course I was! Everything I do is for Gigi, and for that net, and for everyone! That makes me kind of jealous. Did you just say something? No, just muttering to myself about something completely unrelated. We saved Gigi, but we couldn't save Get Net Net. I'm gonna stay in this party until we save everyone. Yeah. They will never change. Net Net. She always fights for us, even if she gets over. She's really like a big banana. That's why I'm gonna protect Net Net. That's what I got. Alright. That's the wrong thing. Here goes nothing. Okay, let's go. There's spots you haven't done yet. How about moving a whale that you can only save a safe one while it's wearing an onion? When you approach the icon, the icon above, an event will occur which eventually to an escape of a battle. Please come prepared. But when you're running at the last first send a danger, there are five different classes of those. Poison will reduce your HP of your turn. Skill 2 will stop you using skill. Slightest prevents hit. Yeah. Hard drive divinity from being accessed. If in your hard drive defense you form, it will revert back to your human form. Paralysis makes you unable to take any action whatsoever. Regenerate re recover HP slightly on every turn. All negative side effects can be removed by using an appropriate attack to kill skill. And if HP regen, I have yet to find the skill that does that. But I haven't finished this one, I've only got far enough to meet all the EU candidates. I've got it. Chapter 2 or 3. I didn't get far enough to do much progression as well. Just enough to know that this is awesome. But anyway. And I will see you tomorrow for the confirmation, uh, the continuation of... Type of Dimension Neptunia 2. Crud. Type of Dimension Rebirth 2, Sister Generation... And as a whole tale, it's very long. But keep watching guys and I will see you tomorrow.